Hello folks, and welcome to a brain spanking new Let's Play. This is Nox. Yeah, old ass game, I have it off of GOG. Let's, uh, let's play the intro. Hail Sabrim and trapped in the dark. Hail Sabrim and drift on thy bark. Dark Lords banish thy reign is nigh. My time to bring the orb or die. Over tonight, Jack. Chickens on the griddle. My undead lords within the core, your name I hail. Enfold the orb! What the heck? Donande tak, donande tek, a room mental said. Damn. You know I do! Damn TV! Lousy second-rate candle makers. Kill them all when I rule the world. What sort of half-baked operation do they think I'm running here? <laughs> now where was I? Yeah. Oh yeah. I call upon the power of one dark name. One black heart. One grievous soul. I call upon the power of Primorum Santissima! What the? At last, the power of the orb is mine, and with it the souls of the dead. Soon I shall rule triumphant over all of Nox! <laughs> Blazes! What manner of demon spawn dares attack my ship? Off, you mutant imp, or you'll have no head to put a hat on! Wait, please! I need your help! I don't know what's happened or where I am or... What is this place? No place at all, except the clouds. But off the noble Julian you go, under your power, or by the lift of my boot! Ah! Hold on, what's this? It's my TV. Hmm, and what does this TV do? Do? Uh, it doesn't really do anything. You just watch it. See, here's where you plug it in, and this knob changes the channels. I think it's broken. Intoxicating. The look of it promises a host of mysteries. You should see it when it's on. Give me the glass box, Imp, and I'll spare you your deadly plummeting fate. Why do you keep calling me Imp? My name is Jack. Granted, you've no wings, but you fly like an Imp. I can't fly. I fell. I fell here from my living room. Fell from what? No matter. It's either overboard with gravity as your guide, or I take the TV as fair for safe passage. <laughs> Deal? Can you take me home? Tina made bacon tonight. Bacon bound we go, Imp. But first, I need your help with something. Quite enlightening, isn't it? But yeah, this is like a early 90s game and holy, well, late 90s? I'm not actually even sure anymore. Anyways, uh, I've been inspired to play this for the longest time. I've just never done so because reasons and uh, I was inspired to do this because of one ghost LPs who had actually done a run of his own but that's gonna be completely different from this one and uh, I can quite clearly show you why uh, I'm gonna delete that test save never mind that's the auto save nope new one so in this game you can play as one of three classes you got the warrior who has excellent health and strength and is rather fast but he does not use magic not a lick of it a uh, little bit of lore on that there's the wizard who has excellent magic probably the best of the game but he is very weak and very slow this is what ghost lp plays i think it was either that or this guy the conjurer who is very middle of the road uh no no particular strength or weaknesses or anything to that sort he's just he's there it exists I however I'm gonna go warrior 
And this is... Oh, Jack? Nah, nah, nah. Ain't gonna be Jack. Ain't, it's gonna be a Darius. Let's see... Minor character customization here. Not like you can change his build or anything. Let's go for an orange here. He's got a stash? I can't see a stash. Screw it. I ain't gonna need a stash. Pants? Red pants. Red. red. Thank you. Hmm. Nah, nah. There's gonna be a God he has ball shirt. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here's the sh nah. Um, not that most of this is gonna matter. Mostly, this is just going to appear as a portrait kind of dude. Oh, I dig his kicks though. Look at those things. Would gladly wear a pair of those. Not in pink though. Probably just pure black. Yeah, like good old classic Converse. Eh. Click the right buttons, damn it. Yeah, that works. All right. Uh, in the Gaudius the shirt, Gaudius the pants, and uh, yeah, there I go. I do believe I perceive the glint of a young fire knight in your eye. <laughs> Could be. If that be your path, then the way of the warrior. Find your way through these brooding mountains to the great subterranean fortress Dune Mir. Find the warlord Horrendous. Learn his ways, the way of the warrior, and maybe. Just maybe you'll survive our knocks. We have arrived, lad. Dune Mir, timeless fortress home of the Warrior Way. Training grounds of the glorious Fire Knights. Gain entry to Dune Mir, find the Academy, and then be ready for the test of your life. The gauntlet. It weeds out the weak recruits. Cool. So with this, uh, it has a very Diablo appearance to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Pretty sure that was just the style back in the day. Anyways, I brings up your inventory and character stats. You can look over and identify the different items that you have. At least it was kind enough, kind enough to give us a sword. Got that going for us. Talk about the auto map, which I'm probably gonna have on a good ver bleh, good amount of the LP. You'll see too that it's not based off of one, two, three, four, you know, for quick keys. It's actually A S D F G. So you might be wondering how the hell do you move? You hold down the right click and just drag and move. And then to interact or attack something, you left click. Pretty simple stuff. Ooh, lava. No wonder they're called the Fire Knights. Anyways, let's go ahead and use this. Break barrels to obtain goodies. I like goodies. Apples. Apples will count as healing for a good portion of the let's play, and that's assigned to X. Good to know. Those are pillars. I can't break those. I kind of want to check out the other side for uh, bats. I gain 80 experience. Woo! I'm glad it tells us that because I would kind of wish that it would have an XP bar. Unless I... Is that also something I have to look at the... Stat screen for? Yes. It's gonna take us a while to level up. But I got the feeling that they're gonna be throwing monsters at us left and right. So what is down here? To X. Okay. We don't want to go that way. That's... That's not the way... Come on. Come on, Dar. Keep your... Wait, what's this? Oh. Uh, da -da -da. Seek deep and dark places to find these leathery winged flyers of the night. By themselves, they are an annoyance, but in a swarm, they can rip you to bits and seconds. That's pretty horrendous. Yeah, pretty much you just walk, go through the contents of this little book. Oh, that's where it is. Bloop. Like a little monster manual. And of course, you can just click the, those things to open up your inventory and whatnot. Oh, a shopkeeper. Your gold is always welcome here. I uh, should hope so. Oh, I can sell the shirt off my back. Nice. Actually, how much can I sell the shirt off my back? 49 gold? Holy crap. Okay, what, else, what do you have to buy? 
15 more gold. Uh, I was trying to just look at the damn thing. Medieval shirt, pants. You know what? We might as well dress to the nines, as it were. And gonna see me in my undies. Oh no, how scandalous. So, buy a shirt, buy pants. I'm pretty sure that this stuff actually has an armor value, I think. Maybe. Identify. Armor value 20 and 10. Oh. My boots provide 10 armor? Alright. Now, I don't think I can... Armor value 28. Let's go ahead and buy the cloak, too. Mmm, cloak. Very cloaky. Unfortunately, I can't buy the flimsy copper sword because it is 500 gold. Locate the gauntlet. Okay. Yeah, now I feel more like I'm ready to take on whatever medieval woes there are. I should really change out my mouse, too. Also, exit leads us to this, so we can save. Alright, save game, yes. And of course, we want to be careful of lava. Because that happens. <laughs> Do you fail to see the streets of Dunmir and lost your meaningless life in the effort? No salvation remains for the people of Nox. Now I, the all-powerful necromancer Hecuba, shall spread my just tyranny throughout the world. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. Uh, that screen totally looked like one of the art, or an art, there. In art. <laughs> Some art you would find from the Liberus Mortis of, uh, Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 fame. Well, I just want to explore a little bit here because who knows what the hell is going to be anywhere else besides Dunmir. I don't. Hello. Huh? Welcome to Dunmir. We keep a tidy city. No street brawls, foul language, or spitting is allowed. Don't even think about wizardry. Enjoy your stay. Aw, but I like street brawls. Here for the gauntlet, huh? I hope you're up to the challenge. So do I. Ah, Dunmir. I really hope that these mushrooms don't go exploding. What? A wizard spy? Come with us peacefully, or I'll bash you again. Well, that wizard gave up right quick. Let me, ch let me check this thing. What is this? Just a ye old staff. All right. Where do you even come from? Ooh. What is this place? Hello, shopkeep. So, here to run the dreaded gauntlet and seek your glory as a fire knight. Yes. You'll need more than burning desire. For example, one of my fine shields might come in handy during the gauntlet run, and I charge a fair price. I bet you do. How much would you buy this stick for? Yeah. All right. Aw, oh, man. Fair price my ass. I can't afford any of it. I can afford a pair of new boots. All right, let's sell my old shoes and actually how much? 10 and flimsy boots. 10. There is literally no point in doing so except for fashion. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to be accepted in the place, but no. I can't I can't afford that right now. Back door. Leading to nothing of real merit at the moment. Just want to explore the place. So we got a little merchant, a weapons merchant, if anything. What's in here? What's kind of cool is the moving around of physics. Oh, only 25 gold. I was expecting something like a large stack of gold. So pretty much with this game, uh, each of the three characters you can play allows you to start in a different location and gives you a different story to go with. Ooh, more apples. I think there's a maximum amount of apples that you can get. Don't quote me on that, please. Do 
do nothing of the sort of quarry me. 30 gold. Awesome. Come on. Tink, tink, tink. Can I break the chair? No. So we just looted the crap out of that place. How much gold do we have now? I could afford a shield. But uh, let's, nah. Let's not worry about the shield right now. You're not going to find anybody around here with better prices. Ooh, armbands. Now I can't afford the armbands. Why not? We'll buy those. Yes. And they're automatically equipped it. All right. I get out of here. So what else is around here? Hello, what's this? Magical well. A magical well, you say? Oh, cool water rejuvenates you. Okay, it's a healing well. I'm guessing that that plot, that looks like a very big and important looking place. Machinery building. Yep. Sponsored people only. Oh, I can't go in there. What if I wanted to mess with some gears? I can peek in through the window and it, as you can see they have a very field of view thing going on here and it's actually really cool. I love it. I mean it's probably going to bite me in the ass later on but at the moment I find it very impressive. And what do you sell? Our goods are guaranteed to work under all circumstances. Flimsy leather leggings. Did I, did I buy the, these pants for no real good reason now? Because those are 20. Those are 75. Crap. Damn it. Balls. Okay, how much can I sell my pants for? What? Ah! Bugger me. Uh, I wanted pink. Actually, what place is this? Bing's Tavern. Is the owner named Chandler? Hello. Horrendous is the bravest of warriors. He once fended off 40 wizards with his bare hands. His fire knights are fiercely loyal. Cool. Breakdowns in the city have become more frequent, and our chief engineer can't keep track of it anymore. You want to try a new drink? I call it the Gauntlet's Revenge. That's food, jug of cider, sturdy iron sword. Man, no one's got something I really need. Like apples. It's kind of silly that you actually have to get much, much physically closer. Hello. I don't know if I want to know what that meal was. You're new around here, aren't you? It's a shame you're not a fire knight. I just adore fire knight. Well, let me get right on that then. Oh, oh. My oh, brother oh. is going to run the cuddler this very day. Mother's worried, but I'm not. He will bring great honor to our family. <laughs> he might die. Um, I only have 125 gold, so I'm going to go ahead and run off. See if I can't enter the gauntlet. After I auto save. I am the quartermaster of Dunmere. If you wish to run the gauntlet, you'll need official sponsorship. Oh. New entry has been added to the journal. That's not the journal. Hmm. How do, how do I journal again? How, how do I journal again? There. Find someone to sponsor me. Should be, uh... You're following Hello, me. Hello, I'm Gearheart, Chief Engineer for Dune Mir. The gauntlet is brutal, and getting past the Quartermaster is the toughest part. I'll tell you what, if you'll do me a favor, I'll put in a good word for you. How about it? Sounds reasonable. Good! My family grows the finest apples in Dune Mir. Unfortunately, a foul little urchin has moved into the cave near our orchard. He has aggravated the bats, and now they attack anyone who enters the orchard. Go kill the urchin, and when you return, I'll sign your petition. Here, take this ruby key. It'll open the orchard gate. Glorious. So we go into here then. Alright, now that we got that settled. Stop 
stop playing with the levers. You just turned off every light in town. <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of funny. Um, it's locked by some kind of ma Stop playing with the levers. You just turned off every light in town. Then give oh. me the key, sir. I need mechanism. What mechanism opens it? The orchard gate is next to the gauntlet. Oh. I'm not going that way just yet. I'm going this way. My B. So now, I have to kill whatever oh, urchin- Oh. Run away! Stop running then! Oh. Bats! Oh, I can't ex Jesus! Oh god, oh god, oh jeez, oh crap. Well, they are a fearsome foe, aren't they? It's a good thing that they have so many- yeah, so many apples around here, I can actually use those to heal some more. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna pick some because I don't want to die by bat. Who wants to die by bat? Not me. Oh, but you're only able to carry nine in total. What's this say? Eating food will store- thanks. I already told the people that. Ooh, more money. 50 gold? Maybe I should buy some stuff. Urchin, cowardly, rock-lobbing denizens of the world beneath. Urchins are best experienced face-to-face. -face. So that's pretty much just telling us, you know, run up to them and whack them in the face. Not like I wasn't going to do that before. Did I just get something new? Oh. Well, now I'm just kind of mad at myself. Why, well, yes, of course, the first thing I would want to do is, uh buy myself some new equipment and make myself look a little bit more fashionable for the area. Ooh, this is dark. Hello? Whoop. That's... Shouldn't be too long until I level up at this rate. You know, if they send like a hundred more bats at me. At a pace that is deal withable. Okay. I thought that that was a person. <laughs> Wow, this place, this place is loaded. And I just have my, oh. There's the aforementioned urchin. No, get back here. Yeah. New entry has been added to my journal. Glorious. I just wanted to get some more stuff first. I e more money. Give me more money. I want the money. Show me the money. Pick up the apple. Kind of silly that we can only carry so many oh, apples. Thank you. That was very brave. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where's the other one? I just want to say hi. Those little flying rats make my skin crawl. Yeah, that's why everyone should carry a sword. It really helps. No joke. If I carried a sword everywhere, I'd feel a little bit better. That a little bit braver. Well, let's talk to Mr. Mechanic, dude. Excellent! You've killed the urchin. Here's your petition. Show it to the quartermaster and he'll let you into the gauntlet. Good luck. Huzzah! 500 experience points. Goddamn. Part of me really wants to buy, a, buy something better for a sword. Kinda, but at the same time, I think I'm good for now. Your petition is in order. You may now enter. Huzzah! I remember a spry, callow youth named Jandor, who stood at this very threshold, gateway to the gauntlet, the supreme test. You were like the young Jandor in many ways, impetuous, headstrong, and maybe too overconfident. <laughs> the gauntlet will cure you of all that, lad. If you make it through, then Horrendous will decide your worthiness as an apprentice from there. Get going. You have a long way before you can wear the hallowed crest of a fire knight. You have to survive the gauntlet first. <laughs> Well, hi everyone. Uh, just gonna stare me down, are we? Horrendous, here is another recruit who wishes to add to the glory of the Fire Knights. Horrendous is huge. Welcome, candidate. I am Horrendous. Participation in the Gauntlet is a time-worn honor. I trust you will not dishonor us, or yourself, my favor. Since here, dishonor equals death. Now go forth, and bring glory to us all! 
Well, this might suck. Oh, that's, uh, that's rather intricate. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and save here just before we enter the gauntlet. I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy this. I hope that you're going to enjoy this. Because I've been wanting to play this for a while. Just hasn't been on my radar, seeing as I've had so many other things that's, you know, been going through my head and other Let's Plays that I've been wanting to do. Um, if you have any tips, tricks, without spoiling, you know, the warrior story for myself or anyone else that reads the comments, let me know. You know, if you have, like, a certain key combination, or maybe there's a certain set of skills that you might suggest, I'm probably going to find the Berserker sort of way. You know, low defense, high attack power, and just go with that route. In any case, thank you all for watching, and when we return, through the gauntlet. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.